In this tutorial, we will learn how to apply two different materials for two sides of a single plane or a cube, one for the inside and another for the outside, without adding any thickness for the surface. We can use this technique to say create a dollar bill with two different textures on both sides of a plane. In this case also, we did not add any thickness, this is just a simple plane. So for this default cube, let's enable face selection in the edit mode, then select and remove any one face. Now, we'll work in the shader editor for its material, so let's keep our viewport in this right side panel, and then open shader editor on this side. By default we have this principled BSDF and a material output node. Let us change this color to say complete red. Then we'll duplicate this node here. And let's change the second one to say blue color. Then we'll join or mix these two colors, so we need a little more space here. Now go to the add menu, and let's bring a mix shader and place it before the output node. Then connect it to the second input. Right now, these two are mixing together at a ratio of 50-50, and the output is simply purple. But our ultimate goal is to create two different colors for the inside and the outside, so we have to modify this FAC value. Let's again go to the Add menu, and bring a geometry node here. If we connect its back-facing output to this FAC input, we will see that the inside surface of the box has turned blue, and the outside is now red color. The interesting thing is, we used zero thickness for this surface. This technique is driven by the normal of the surface. So the inward face of the surface is getting blue, or this second material, and the outside surface is getting this first material. To verify this, let's go to the edit mode and select a single face. Then from this menu option, we can flip its normal. Now you can see that the outside is blue for the surface, and the inside is red, because we have flipped its normal. Let's undo this, and finally, I will show you one more interesting thing, with this same setup. Instead of backfacing, if we connect the position to this FAC, the material of the box will change dynamically, based on where it is currently located. If we grab it, and move it somewhere else, we'll discover that the color of the box is changing. Sometimes it is complete blue, sometimes it is complete red, and sometimes a mix of both. The change in its location is also changing the FAC, as per its position. And if we want to restrict this effect in only one single dimension, we can do that by taking the XYZ components of the location using a separate XYZ node after the geometry node. We can use any of these three, if we use the X component, the color change will happen only when we move the box along the X axis. But it won't show any dynamic change if we move it vertically or along the Z axis, so the change is unidirectional. Similarly to restrict it vertically, we have to use the Z component here. Now the color change will be visible only when we move it vertically, and no change will happen along the x-axis or the y-axis. So this was a quick example, or a demonstration of how we can use a geometry node to control the mix factor of multiple materials. And we can also use here multiple textures to create completely different outlooks for the backside and the front side, without adding any thickness for the surface. So now we know what is adaptive shading, and how to use it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.